What we know about the flu season this year is that it started a bit earlier than it did the last two years. There's already widespread influenza in several states uh, around the country, including Massachusetts. Um, we also know that circulating strain of H3N2 is very common, and that strain typically affects uh, adults a bit more than children. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, what we don't know yet is how severe the flu season is going to be overall. Just because we have a high number of cases now doesn't mean we're going to have a high number of cases in the season overall. That kind of information doesn't come out until after the season's over and we look back and see how many cases there have been. The flu vaccine remains the best way we have of preventing influenza. And influenza, or the flu, can be a very, very serious condition. Um, it causes fever, it causes cough, it causes of terrible fatigue, and that's in the general population. The, the, we're really concerned about the flu are in people who are more vulnerable to complications, and that includes the elderly, pregnant women, people who have underlying diseases that weaken their immune system, so they're getting chemotherapy for, for cancer, or they're getting some immunosuppressive therapy for something like inflammatory bowel disease. And, and then also some very common conditions make the flu worse too, things like diabetes and obesity. So it's very important that we get the vaccine. So the flu vaccine is not 100% effective. It's never 100% effective. However, there is some evidence that even if you're not completely protected from getting the flu, People who get the vaccine get a less severe form of the flu. So it's so-called attenuated illness. So that's good news. The other thing is that even though you hear this news that the flu vaccine is what we hear this year is only 10% effective, I want to emphasize that was in Australia last year for a certain type of flu, H3N2. And it, we don't know whether our vaccine in the United States this year is going to be as ineffective for that type of flu as it was in Australia. In fact, last year, our vaccine was more effective than that against H3N2. The other thing to emphasize is that there are other strains of flu that circulate besides H3N2, and the vaccine has better protection against those strains. So I would say overall, the vaccine is going to be more effective than 10%. And we don't really know finally, how effective it's going to be until we look back at a given season. So a lot of the scary news you've heard about the uh, effectiveness of the vaccine, we have to sort of take uh, with a grain of salt. Flu vaccine is still our best way of preventing influenza. Uh, even though it's not perfect, it's the best we've got. Uh, and so I highly recommend that people get the flu vaccine, in particular healthcare workers, in particular people who have underlying conditions that might them, make them more susceptible to complications of the flu. It's inexpensive, it's safe. You cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine, a common thing that we hear, uh, and, and I would strongly recommend it.